Terminal 18 is a container facilities. We move containers on and off vessels, on and off trucks, on and off the rail. It's a 190 acre waterfront container terminal. We handle about a million TEUs of containers a year. 24 hour a day operations, which uh, necessitated the upgrade to our lighting system. For this facility here, the challenge was to make sure that, that we get a good uniformity, we meet the RP standards, and also we get the energy efficiency in there. It's such an active yard that they can't afford to have downtime. And whether it's uh, lights being out or a pole being hit, um, really for safety and efficiency, they really need the lights to be consistent um, and no downtime. The old system was the uh, high pressure sodium bulbs that we had uh, required a lot of maintenance, high failure rate. Um, and it was dim, dirty light. So uh, we'd actually been looking at upgrading the lights here for quite some time. We did a lot of uh, homework. We looked at light emitting plasma, and then as the LED technology uh, was improving tenfold every year just about, uh, we saw that it was time to take advantage of that. We figured that going in this direction that we would improve safety, we would improve production, and we would also improve our energy savings. So all of these fixtures are being controlled by the nodes and those are dialed in right now for sunrise sunset. Based upon the software program that we have, we can control those now just from a computer. Before that process, our guards would go pole by pole turning lights on and that was quite a process. Also with that high pressure sodium, they need to warm up to really get illumination. Now it's instantaneous, both off and on. Yeah, they went with um, with our HMLED3, our high mass uh, light fixture, um, and they went with the package three, which is not our highest package, but it gave them uh, the fewest amount of fixtures with the best uniformity and also um, the best payback. Obviously, cost is always a, a, a big factor when you're running a business, and the fact that we can save hundreds, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars every year just by changing the fixtures, uh, again, it makes it kind of a no-brainer. Our payback is less than two years. The energy savings is pretty amazing. Uh, the maintenance of the fixture, I mean, it just doesn't get any easier. Uh, and I know it's a lot of money up front, but like Dan said, you're going to be making your money back in two years. And if you're going to be at a terminal for a long time, you might as well just do it because it'll be paid for. It is absolutely beautiful. It's, it's almost daylight. Honestly, so I've been working on this project for a while. And coming to work and seeing the lights on, it, it puts a little bit of a smile on my face because the light quality is amazing. Really, there's no real reason to wait. The LEDs have come a long way as far as efficiency and also the, the, the cost of installation and the cost of maintenance. Everything plays into the actual uh, cost of, of ownership of the fixtures themselves. So really, there's no, uh, no need to wait any longer to switch over to LED because the efficiency is now there where they can maximize the energy efficiency and also the reliability is there now. So their maintenance will be basically maintenance free for a long period of time. I recommend Hall of Fame for sure. Um, their salespeople have been great. Um, passed forward a lot of knowledge to us, um, and it wasn't high pressure either. They gave us the information, allowed us to make our own decision. But the fact that uh, they have installations elsewhere in other port facilities, people that I know there, I've been able to talk to them as well and get good, honest feedback. So the product is very reliable and uh, yeah, made the decisions easy. Thank you.